Hi guys and welcome back to Sports Game World HD. Today I'm going to bring an episode of the QPR series. And before I get started, I have to say I did record episode 5, which would have been the December update. And in it we had a live come against Arsenal. I recorded it, and then I made a new mistake and carried on playing, and then watched it back to see what it was like and edit it, etc. Uh, and on looking at it again, I noticed that the gameplay, as well as the actual, you know, just the general video as a whole, not just the match against Arsenal, was really laggy so and unwatchable to be honest so I couldn't stand watching it so I'm not going to put it out for you guys to watch so I had to delete it so today we've got to recap two months worth of fixtures and stuff all in one episode as well as a live comic against Newcastle uh, I've now got my laptop back it's now been fixed and it's no longer ever heating as well I've got a new microphone the blue snowball which is awesome so hopefully much better audio quality as well as my laptop not overheating so I don't have to put out this episode out in two parts so that's all good so let's crack on with it. The last episode you would have seen would have been the Chelsea game and we lost 2-1 with Junior Hoylet getting our goal. A bit harsh considering I did set the tactic to uh, all out attack um, just as just before we scored I set it and then we went to pending tra tactic thing and then when we scored, they scored again or something, and then they won the game. It's been quite a while since I played this, so I'm trying to do it from memory. So, yeah, it was a little bit harsh. Then we went on to draw 1-1 with West Brom. Beat, then we beat Sunderland 2-0. Then we went on to lose against uh, Man City 5-1, with Thomas Sinks getting our goal. Now, the five goals, I reckon one of them came from a cross, because this was all before the game was patched. I recorded this, so it's been quite a while since, because my laptop has been... So, you know, not, I've not had my laptop, so I've not been able to play, and I, I can't stand playing on the desktop. It's too too jumpy and laggy, as I said. So, it's been quite a while. So, this was before the patch. And 5-1 we lost, and one or two of those goals were crossing, and the rest of it, we were just rubbish. They Well, we weren't rubbish. They were just so much better than us. Uh, it just shows you just how good Man City are in this game. So, 5-1, and they were just um, unreal. So, so good. But then we managed to draw 2 2 with Liverpool away at Anfield with Thomas Sinson and Bobby Zamora getting a goal. So Thomas Sinson on a really good run. He scored three goals on the trot leaders um, in the last three games. Well, including the Arsenal game. And this game was really harsh. We were winning it until 80 minutes gone. We were winning 2 0. And then, guess what? Two crosses again came in and we conceded two quick goals to draw the game 2 2. But then we played against Arsenal. And for the Arsenal one, this was. This game. The game was patched, I think. The solo crossing bug was no more. And we won 3-2. And we were drawing 2-2 until the latter minutes. And then we came back and scored with Esteban Ganero. It was a really good headed goal, actually. Um, so it was really good. We beat them 3-2 away at the Emirates. Junior Hoyle and Sydney Sam getting the other goals for us, of course. Then we drew 1-1 with Swansea. With Michael Vorm getting, or Michelle Vorm getting the uh, own goal for us. And then we drew, no, then we lost to Reading 2-1. Ad Milson getting our only goal. We were winning, I think we were winning that 1-0, and then we conceded two, two quick goals. Again, it's always quick goals at us. It's almost like a sucker punch. We, like, we, we concede, and then we always one always brings two, which is kind of frustrating. Then we drew 0-0 with West Ham, nothing to say there. Then we drew again with uh, Fulham. Ad Milson getting another goal, so he's on a bit of a decent run. So London Derby there drew 1-1. Then we drew again, Aston Villa 2-2. Junior Hoyle and Adel Terrap getting our goal. So as you can see, a lot of draws in the uh, since last episode. Hopefully we can correct that against Newcastle and beat them, because we could do with a win, to be honest. I mean, we are now in 13th place on how many points? I can't even see our line. 26 points? I think that's 26 points for us. With Newcastle just above us, so, you know, hopefully if we win, we can... Yeah, we, if we win, we can leapfrog them and go above them. So that's definitely important. And Sunderland, Southampton and Norwich are in the relegation zone. I mean, at the moment, considering we are in 13th, I do have to be looking down the table and see how far we are away from relegation. Because we are so inconsistent in terms of getting wins. We seem to draw or lose. It's, that's all we seem to be doing lately, and the odd win. So, at the moment, I've got to be looking down at the relegation zone to see how far how far off we are. Um, hopefully, we can change that. Hopefully, make a couple of signings in January or something. And hopefully, start to push up the table a little bit. Because it's a little bit worrying at the moment. 26 points... So Sunderland are in six, on 16 points in the relegation zone. Reading are above them in ni 19 points. We've got a 7-point buffer on Reading at the moment, so we should be safe at the moment. So definitely important to keep winning the games. As per usual, I've already picked the team. It's Rob Green in goal, 
Jose Boswinger, Almond Traore, Mbia, Anua, Diakite, Dyer, Ince, Granero, Sam, and Cisse up front. Now, as you can see here, fatigue is really set in. Our team is completely knackered. Nobody can play. Fowlin can't play. Park Ji Sung is an important first teamer. Julio Cesar is in awful form, so he's not playing for that reason. Anton Ferdinand doesn't really play. Uh, Akore is a first teamer. Again, he's, he's tired. Fabio is tired. Adel Tarap is tired. Andy Johnson doesn't play either. He's, in, he's been fatigued because of reserve team games. But because of the Christmas period, a lot of my players are really, really tired. So um, Kieran Dyer is actually getting a run out, which is a bit of a shocker. So let's see how he can do. So as you can see, Newcastle are going with a 4-4-2 against us. Tim Krul in goal. He's a bit of a superstar. Colacini is an awesome player. Vernon Anita is pretty decent. Obertan's okay, I guess. Shoromi Obi up front, not Pape Cisse. I don't think they've got rid of him, so a bit of a maybe he's fatigued or tired or um, injured or suspended. Who knows? Demba Bar is his partner up front, partner in crime. Demba Bar is of course awesome, so that should prove very challenging. Let's pick the team pack. Newcastle are going to win. Set piece is already done. Team talk. Uh, nobody fancies for the win. Uh, I'll calmly tell them they're underdogs. Passionately then tell them they can make the difference. No pressure on the midfield. Hopefully that relax the likes of Kieran Dyer as it does. Um, passionately tell him he can do it. Yep, there we go. Not a bad team talk. Hopefully they're not too too relaxed though. Uh, let's just check all my settings are okay. Key highlights. Hopefully this won't be laggy like the Arsenal game on the desktop. Hopefully my computer, my laptop can, can um, deal with it a lot more smoothly. Obertan early though crosses it. Green saves it, good good take. I actually played uh, Rob Green in the last couple of games, actually. Julio Cesar has been in such bad form, as I said earlier, that he's just not getting in the team at the moment, and Rob Green's in pretty pretty decent form. Armand Traoré is injured, apparently. I don't have another left-back on the bench, because Fabio is tired, but I can play Luke Young there if needed. Sydney Sam, Esteban Ganero, Cesar... Oh. I fancy just fancy giving Cisse a go today. I mean, Milson's in good form, but I just fancied something different. Give uh, Dem. I want to keep wanting to say Papi sees Dem dribble. Cisse scores. I'm giving him a run out just as I'm mentioning my choice of selection for him. He scores the goal, so we move up to tenth in the table. Good early lead there, one 0 Marvu runs down the wing, crosses it. Demba Bar, oh Rob Green saves it again, apparently look at a certain goal, so good save there by Rob Green. Been looking, as we are in January now, I've been looking heavily at the transfer window and even though I've got no funds at all and the owner hasn't even given us any money to spend, so there's no like injection of cash from Fernandez, so that's a bit disappointing. So I've got a sell to buy really, but I don't really have anything of value to sell, so... Ideally, if I did have money though, I've been looking at the window and Dribble Cissé scores again, 2-0, good there. Good cross there by Ince into Cissé, who clearly did well under pressure there because he had a few players around him, including the goalkeeper. 2-0 to us, good stuff. But I noticed some players there are awesome, just awesome, awesome players available to us. Yeah, aren't in, these ones aren't interested in joining us, but they're available on the market. Jeremy Menez, Daniel Agger, Walter Montillo, Mohamed Yusako, Gokana Inla, uh, Ander is available. They're not interested in joining us, but they're available. And then the players that are interested are the likes of Ogbana, the uh, Torino centre-back left-back, and uh, Shedu, the place for Ben or Lille, I'm not sure. One of those two in France, so centre-back. So both of those two are interested in If I did have money, I'd bring in probably Ogbana, to be honest. Even though Shedu's got better stats, he would cost more money, but I'd rather have Ogbana at the back. But I have no money to spend, but if I did, I would buy them. Where are we now? Half time, two 0 at half time away at St James's Park or whatever they call it, Sports Direct Arena, whatever they call it in this game. I think it's Sports uh, St James's Park still on the game. I know it's St James's Park in real life now again. Uh, okay, Dribble C says probably if he's fit for the next game, he's worked when he's placed in the next game. His fitness is pretty decent so far. Demon knew is buggered. I'll take him off, put. Ryan Nelson on limited defender. I think he's a stopper. I can't remember. I can't bother to check. Esteban going never leave him on. Uh, Armand is still injured. Do I? I'll change him for Luke Young. 
Buzz Winger, you have to play the full 90. Play. Hopefully we can crack on and get another couple. Because 2-0, obviously, as the last couple of results show, we are not, you know, not this, this isn't over yet. We do have a habit of conceding one and then two goals. Boz Winger runs down the wing. No, cut the highlight. 61% possession, so Newcastle can't get the ball, and it shows because they've only had one shot, one on target. And they're fouling us a lot more. Kieran dies injured. There's a surprise. Uh, check him off now because that is probably going to be a bad one. And it is. He's down to 50% fitness, so who do we put on? Granero can drop back, and then I'll put Junior Hoylett up there, I think. We'll do that. That's all my changes done. So these guys are going to see out the result. Dominating the game. Eight shots, four on targets. Only seven fouls, 61% possession. They've had one shot, one on target, ten fouls, as I said earlier. So dominating it. Denver Bar, good work and beer. No, it's a penalty. Why? What was he giving a penalty for? Oh, God. Ami Shona Amiobi scored. Really? Really, Shola Amiobi. So that's 2-1. Now, history would suggest we're now going to concede a couple of goals straight away. Or at least another one. Come on. Um, do I have any tactics I can make? Instructions. Uh, time to hang on some of my instructions, see if that works. I doubt it. Probably will just backfire on us and probably can see it again and then again. Esteban Ganero is on a yellow card now. Santon Maruk, he's going to run down the wing. Amiobi. No. Oh, you're kidding me. Okay, we'll get rid of that. I'll bump that up to all that attack. Go for the win. Come on. I told you. I did say we concede one and then we concede two. It wasn't that quicker. You know, it wasn't like bang bang goals, but still. Um, I think in the summer I need to clear out the strikers. Cisse's done okay in this game, but his form this season as a whole has been shocking. Andy Johnson's not very good. Bobby Zamora's done okay, but. Again, isn't exactly a spring chicken. And uh, Milson's still really young. Zaha, I'm probably going to start to use him out in the wing, to be honest. His stats don't lend himself to being a solo striker. So, not exactly ideal. Cruel, that was shocking there by whoever it was. I think it was Boswinger. Mavru, oh god, Denver Bar. No. No, 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 no. Denver Bar scores. And we're going to lose this 3-2. Great. Tim Crew. Oh, no, we're going to lose it 4-2, are we? Dan Gosling. Dan Babar. Yep, 4-2. What, what happens with our defenders? Do they just switch off completely? That is, that is very annoying. Very annoying, considering how dominant we've been in possession and stuff. Thomas Ince. It's too late now, we can't win the game, so Dribble Cisse, Junior Hoylet, Granero, Diakite, Hoylet, Granero, Sam. <sighs> Lame effort. And that's it. And after winning 2 0 at half time, we've lost 4 2. And I'm going to aggressively tell them that was not good. But I'm going to tell Dribble. Um, I don't want to tell Dribble C he's good because that'll piss off the rest of them. So that'll do. We're now in. Still in 13th place. We've not dropped or gained anything or lost anything. So yet because we've played 21 games, Swansea have played a game less as of West Ham. But West Ham can't jump us. So Swansea have got a game less. So I don't know who they're playing, but that sucks. That sucks because we could drop to 14th now. After winning 2 0 at half time, look at this. Oh, their stats were decent second half. 13 shots, 9 targets. So they really picked it up in the second half, but still. 2 0 at half time, and then to lose that. And that's annoying. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Alright. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Leave a like for getting the new my laptop fixed. Um, that's what I'm liking at the moment. 
and I will see you guys at the end of the January window. Hopefully I'll be able to bring you a new signing or something and hopefully a win in the live con. But I guess that'll do and I'll see you guys next time.